Okay guys, our next problem is this. A uh, patient is on aminophilin drip with the infusion pump set at 26 cc per hour and then the aminophilin is mixed 1 gram per 500 ml of D5 water and how many milligrams per hour is the patient receiving? Okay, so uh, patient is receiving 26 cc per hour, 26 ml per hour and how many milligrams per hour is he receiving? Okay, so uh, you want to you want to start first uh, writing what you're giving the patient because that's the order. Okay, so 26 uh, 26 uh, ml per hour. Okay, now we're going to use dimensional analysis again, and um, your uh, stock on hand is one gram over 500. Okay, so you want to put one gram here and 500. ML and why do you want to put 500 ml as your numerator so that you could cancel ml on this uh, on your on your 26 so cancel ml cancel ml and now uh, what we have left is one gram and um, as all we know uh, our problem is we're trying to look for milligrams so how many milligram is the patient receiving when the patient is receiving 26 ml per hour Okay, so we have to convert gram to milligram. So uh, one gram is equivalent to how many milligrams? It is 1,000 milligrams. Okay, so uh, cancel one gram per gram, and then you have milligram per hour. Basically, you're almost done here because you already uh, got your uh, what you're looking for, milligrams per hour, but uh, Hold on to your calculator first because uh, we could cancel this uh, the zeros manually. Uh, remember canceling your numerator, the zeros from your numerator against the zeros from your denominator. So cancel. How many zeros do we have for our denominator? We have two. Okay, so cancel one, two, and from our uh, uh, from our numerator is another two zeros to be canceled. Okay, so we end up like twenty six times ten is. 260 okay and uh, 5 okay so this is equivalent to 260 divided by 5 equals 52 and then you just drag your uh, variable here or your unit of measurement which is milligram per hour so that's how you uh, do your computation that's it